All right, Angela, they're coming for us I out know. of the ground. Not zombies. We're talking about an invasion that only happens once every 17 years. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia tells us about cicada season and gets answers about how it will affect you. For 17 years, they've been living underground, sucking sap from tree roots, and they're waiting for the time to emerge. Right now, this ground is 75 degrees. It has to be consistently 64 degrees or better for several weeks in order for them to suddenly burst forth. Some people fear they'll swarm like these locusts, which periodically sweep through places overseas, but that is not what happens with cicada. As they emerge, what might we see? So, I, more of what you're going to hear, they are active uh, during the day, so daytime is when you would expect mostly to hear their sound, especially in the hot summer days. There are many different species of cicada. These, called brood 10, are distinguished by their red eyes, black bodies about an inch long, and bright orange veins in their wings. The adults, when they emerge, their main goal is to mate and then lay eggs. Although you'll see and hear them everywhere, you don't need to fear these cicada. They're not venomous. They don't bite or sting, they won't invade your home, and they won't ruin your garden. Birds are going to love this, reptiles will love this, even spiders are going to have a buffet. However, young saplings like this or disease trees may have some problems. The females will cut kind of like a slit inside the bark of the tree to lay her eggs, and so sometimes this can cause like flagging on trees, so that's when the leaves start kind of drooping or like a branch might start drooping, but the tree itself, if it's a big healthy tree, it might lose one limb, but otherwise it'll be completely healthy. Cicada broods are always emerging, but the 17-year ones like these will be prevalent in the mid-Atlantic states this time around. Here in North Carolina, Swink says, Surrey and Cherokee counties could be impacted the most. And once they go underground, the nymphs, as they're called, will actually be good for the soil because what they'll do is they'll burrow tunnels through it. That will help aerate it, and that is beneficial. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.